Hey, this is yet another video in the Emacs Goody series. I'm Gopar, and today we're going to talk about a brand new package that is an Emacs 29. It's a pretty small package, but nevertheless, I use this when, uh, whenever the opportunity presents itself, which is every now and then, and I have some custom functions around it because this package is pretty bare bones by itself. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're probably wondering what package am I talking about? Well, I am talking about this package called string edit. So there's a package in Malpa already called string edit, I believe, something like that. And this is kind of similar with the benefit that it is already built in into Emacs. One thing that I also want to say that differentiates from the string edit, the Malpa version, the Malpa package that's on there, is that when I used it, which was like like a few years ago, I can't really remember, it had support for quotes. And from this package, it looks like it doesn't have support for quotes. It's pretty bare bones. I'll explain what I mean once I start showing the demo. So this is a basic configuration. By itself, you have to create some functions in order to make it work. Otherwise, it's not really going to do anything by itself, as you can see. So I'll quickly explain what's going on. So actually, I'll skip this one because the main point of entry is edit string at point. So for example, I want, I'm programming in whatever language. I see a string I want to edit. I just call this this function. This is the main entry point, And it'll say, all right, I'll grab the string at point. And then I'll call the string edit function, which is the main function in the string edit package. And it's going to accept the string. It's going to accept, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not the string. This is a prompt then this is the actual string that we're going to be editing. Editing. This is what to do when we finish editing, and then this is just what to do if we decide to cancel the editing. So if we're canceling, we're just going to exit the edit, uh, edit mode. It, uh, oh, sorry about that. Cancel the editing that we're in, and we're going to send out a message, aborted edit. But if we do want to commit the changes that we made, we're going to call this function called gopar replace string at point. So now this is the function up top. So what does this function do? Well, it accepts a new function, and then it's also going to look at whatever. It's going to use thing at point, but we're going to use bounds of thing at point, which is essentially going to return the beginning and ending regions of the string. So we're saying, hey, is the thing that we're looking at, if it was a string, it's going to return the beginning and ending regions. So if it did return it, well, then we're just going to grab those two entries from the list and then we're going to delete that region. And after we delete it, we're going to insert the string that we just edited. So that's pretty much it. OK, so let's go and see this in action. Uh, let's see. So I'm over here. I opened a new prompt. And then I'm going to call string edit at this with this string edit, uh, string edit at a point. And as you can see over here at the bottom, a new buffer appeared. So what are we going to do? Uh, uh, there we go. So now we can edit with the quotes as well. So of course you can edit outside of the quotes, but I mean that's not the point. The point is to edit inside the quotes. Uh, starting edit point at let me just say Gopar was here. Okay, so I'm going to commit this. So I'm going to do Control CC, and as you can see, here's our prompt string at point. You don't have to press the prompt; it's just there if you want it. So I'm going to press CC. And there you go, it was edited. Now, let me revert that. Now, let me call again the edit string at point. And let's say I'm in at midpoint of typing something, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm just going to control, I'm just going to exit. So we can do control C, control K, and ta da, we exited and nothing changed. So that's pretty much the gist of it. So now, let me show you string edit, the file itself, which is pretty bare bone. So the file itself is around 140. So it's pretty short. There's not really a customization. And the only functions is just the string edit, um, string edit itself, and then these two helper functions that go along with it. But as you can see, it's pretty bare bones. So you will need to customize something or create your own functions like the one I did. But that's a short tutorial and uh, what I believe is useful in, the, in that one. So yeah. There you go. Thanks.